Uh, this is the uh, Northampton Council on Aging Board of Directors and Northampton Senior Services. Uh, December the is the date today. Fourteen. 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 First order of business uh, would be the uh, public session, and there are no members of the public here. So, uh, the approval of minutes. Can I have a motion on that? Barbara? I'll second. Jim, second? Okay, now, are there any uh, corrections or problems we have with it? To uh, Margaret LaSalle is no longer a member. She was listed as present. Okay. If I'm correct, right? Margaret, you're not here, right? Correct. And no, then she quit. Quit. No. at the end, Marlene is listed as Marlene Johnson. Unless I got married that hour. <laughs> That's a 50 50 shot, right? I'm already married. Yeah. Where was this? Where was she listed? Adjourning the, the adjourning the meeting. Oh, the adjourning the meeting. Oh, Marlene Johnson. Yes. Anyone else? Okay. All those in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. Say aye. 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 All those opposed? No one's opposed. The motion is carried. Okay. Let's go on to <coughs> budget review. There's some paperwork here for you. Um, yeah, last week, last month, um, everybody asked for a little bit more in-depth look at the budget from both the um, income and um, uh, expenditure perspective. So this is it, and I'll give it to you very quickly, but it looks really good. Um, this is the, the, let's take the sheet first, okay? The income sheet? Yeah, and I think I just, oh, shoot, I think I sent mine down somewhere that had all my... Does anybody have Linda's copy of this by any chance? Oh no, that's all right. I have it. She says, "Wait, come in." Not now, wait. Oh, um, in a few minutes. Okay. Five more minutes. Um, okay, so this is the um, the income that we've we've has had from Jan July first to um, to uh, December, and um, basically, so the income or from just about every source that you can imagine, um, including you know the the really beautiful dinners we have, the um, the the money that we bring in from our activities, um, you know just uh, many the Mary's mini mart mini mart sorry mini sale um, every uh, the room rentals these this is our income for six months is seventy eight thousand six hundred eighty eight dollars, and along with those that income we have expenses that are not. Um, budgeted in our normal city account, at which is the cost of the instructors, um, maybe some of the cost of those really beautiful functions, um, and it was $40,327. So we have a, a, a profit margin after the six months of $38,361. So that, I'd like you to look at that. Now I'd like you to pick up the other thing. And if you have questions, um, just let me walk through this. Now, if you know, see the, um, the Department Budget General Fund. <clears throat> well, the, in, in the other category. The other category is the EOEA grant. Um, and these are revolving funds. Um, it's a, uh, oh, in, thank you. <coughs> Um, the revolving fund, we're, it's, I, I've been managing a, a lot of years, and, and this is a, sort of a complicated budget because of our, our many revolving funds. And um, so we're going to try to make it a little less complicated along the way. Um, Susan is, um, Susan Wright, the finance officer, is trying to, to work on that right now. So anyway, the EOEA grant is um, $29,376. It's, it's $58,740. That was me adding up those two figures right away. That I'm very impressed, Linda. Anyway, um, that's what we got last year. It's, it's down a couple thousand this year. Um, we didn't get quite the amount of money um, per individual as we did last year, but it's it's down a couple thousand. So. You, basically, we will have always have about fifty-five to sixty thousand from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs budget. Um, 
So that's that's a given. And then um, another given is, which is included in our income, is that we get approximately twenty five twenty five thousand dollars from the PBTA. And um, we just had a really nice meeting with them, and they they said that yep, we've got it again next year. So I didn't we didn't that's kind of a surprise. What is that for? Um, that's for our transportation. Yep. Um, so. The revolving accounts are what we do to balance our budgets. And we have very strong revolving accounts. Uh, so an example, the transportation revolving accounts show 11,154. That's part of that $25,000 plus the small token of um, a contribution that a person gets when they use the, our transportation systems too. Um, Bottom line is, um, we have, um, after expenses on this first sheet, we have $38,361. That's for half a year, um, after all the expenses. So when we look at the bottom line figure of $229,955, that's the, the general fund, um, and then we subtract that from $334,091, which is our budget, um, we end up still needing seven thousand thirty-five dollars, but that in so in the next six months we actually have to earn seven thousand thirty-five dollars to make our budget perfect. Well, that's a piece of cake for us because of a hundred reasons why it's a very easy um, amount to make. And as you see on the um, income from it was seventy-eight thousand six hundred and eighty-eight dollars in six in six months. So we'll have a, a very nice surplus at the end of the year. And I know it's pretty complicated and it's gobbledygook. Um, if anybody wants to spend more time on it, or if anyone sees a real red flag and they want to talk to me about it, I'd love to, I would gladly do it. What do you spend the sur surplus on? Please? What do you typically spend the surplus it's, on? It's, you, it's because it's in revolving account, it just it just falls over to the next year. Okay, so you so you don't have to spend it all down within the fiscal no, year. No, no. If it was if it was EOEA's grant, right. if it was the like city monies, yeah, yeah we do have to spend yeah. it down. Right. But we don't have to with the revolving accounts. Mm -hmm. I got kind of lost. Um, when you mentioned income, did you, is it on any of these sheets here in terms of the individual incomes, like rooms? And, Whatever. Did the, you we, I didn't. I we did that last year, last <coughs> month. I, I showed like where the individual incomes okay. came in, and people wanted to see a more like okay. what what what's the bottom line? You know, I'm sure, sure you looking. have money coming in, but how does it go out, and what what actually? How are we um, um, on you know on just our whole budget? How does how does the room rental of this year compare up to last year? Do you, everybody, do you remember like what uh, we showed you, um, how we showed you kind of a, a Google map and of, of um, our map, it's just incredibly um, filled. We, we um, I can give you, I don't remember exactly what the bottom line is for the rentals, but um, our rentals, you know, really are a, a real major source of our income. But John, you're saying compared to last year, this year. Yeah, what's the comparison from last year to this year? I just don't have that. No, no, I actually. But we actually did that, I think, last year, last month. But I, I can't remember. But I can easily bring it back for you. I know it's at least ten thousand so far this year, which is to me a lot. I didn't. I don't know what last year was offhand. Does anybody have yes last? Months. If I remember off the top of my head, it's almost twice as much. Is that, really? Does it have it in there? Cases. This, is, Casey, it is, this is from last, yeah. the last yeah. month. Yeah. Is this it? Just borrow it. Okay. Um, okay. If this is a, I thought it was a little bit. This is just to indicate how much yeah, um, of our, our sources. Mm -hmm. This one is just a comparison of the income that was generated. It wasn't specifically oh, related yeah, to the... So I think what we were talking about last week, if at some point there's a breakdown of what the income, how much yeah. is coming from the bistro, how much yeah. is coming from Mary's thing, how much is coming from the room rentals. Yeah. We could see a breakdown of the income, right. so we could right. see last year versus this year. Sure. So when we look at these, like even these, this expense sheet, and you've got, you know, 
-hmm. August 8th and then August 9th and then August 22nd. It's yeah. like, you know, we don't really I know what that means, which is okay. Yeah. I don't need the total. But yeah. as far as the income goes, it'd be nice to see where the money's coming from. Yeah. And just like a two-year comparison, you know, yeah. five years, just like. Yeah. Well, I kind of thought I, we, we did a little bit of a comparison. You all asked me to show you the budget and the income and the expenses, so that's what I did this year, this time. Easily done for next time, okay? It's kind of a two-year day, two year comparison of the income coming in in the various um, our income sources that are part of the revolving account. That That's an easy one, right, Linda? Mm -hmm. Yes. And it might take till February in order to get all the 2017 in. You might not have all the numbers. It won't. It'll be oh, okay. okay. July first. Well, okay. <laughs> or any of your matches. Yeah. There, there is one nice little, I, I asked Linda to, to report on this to give you an idea of our income and expenses. Do you have that? Yeah, for the and, holiday dinner. Yeah, and one of them is the holiday dinner. And um, we have to say, say you and yeah. your wife are incredible shoppers. And we're gonna give you a comparison of the cost of the holiday dinner versus how much the income was. Do you have that, Lynn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the income was $1,544. The expenses were two hundred and five dollars and ten cents. Oh my God! Oh my God. Yeah. I'll be shots of turkeys and everything. Oh, that's <laughs> this is the graph here. No, no. This no, is this is a thirty people. Which the one we just had. You had a lot to eat too. Good so. so. work. Thank you. Did you no, oh, I hope my wife gave you all the receipts. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. 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 When she shopped for me, that's all I can say. She got, she got half of those stuffings for free. More than half. Yeah, we got buy one, two, get two free. <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, like we got buy one, get two free on the friendly rolls, the friendly ice yeah. cream rolls. Mm -hmm. The turkey was a buck ninety nine a pound, whereas um Arnold's was charging five ninety nine a pound. Oh my god. So you're yeah. saving four dollars a pound. We had sixty pounds. That was two hundred and forty dollars right there. Squash was thirty nine cents a pound. Thank you for having a peel, by the way. Great savings there. Uh, and I can go on and on and on. Did you get the potatoes for free? No, that was just <laughs> <laughs> for Swaz. They would have would donate them. Yeah, those those were instant potatoes here. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, <laughs> they weren't bad. <laughs> <laughs> they were good. Yeah, they were. Mm -hmm. well, another thing we did also, and this is a the compliment both both to the kitchen crew and those of us who were serving, is we served about 110 dinners in 22 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty really. Work. Yeah. We started yeah. 22 yeah. minutes later. We got the last meal out. There was uh, 120 some odd seats out there. There's about 10 no shows. So it was about 110 dinners in 22 minutes. Mm -hmm. Plus, I hope I it was hot. Good. People were not sitting around looking at another table who's eating, and they're not eating for 20 minutes, and you know all that sort of thing. So it went out very smoothly. Yeah. I have to compliment. We, my my brother my kitchen crew, Wayne and Jim, they were they were they were, they were, they were, they were, they were 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 they oversleep and not make it in and they probably would put yeah. it out and went out a hitch. It was so great seeing your granddaughter helping out and everything. And the sugar plum fairy was wonderful. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 She was still exposed but she was supposed to <laughs> Don't bend over. Yeah, right. It's all in the sake of holiday. <laughs> Anything for a laugh is what I say. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see, is that the cover the budget? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you want to really, I'd be gladly show you if you wanted a more in depth look, okay? Mm -hmm. Of each, you want to. But each. We, I feel really com comfortable. I and can tell you what it is up until now, but I can't tell you every single one. It's just a Patty John was saying the same thing, comparison just last year and this year. Yep. Yeah. Just so we know it's worth it. We'll do that. Okay, moving on to old business, update on Mary's Bistro. Oh, oh, excuse me. Um, Linda needs track. to know who's second with the minutes. Who first and second in the uh, Jim, second with the minutes. Jim, and okay. who first? Barbara. Barbara. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Sorry. also, just look, mm -hmm. are, are anybody who's not here, Lorraine Wyman, Deb Epstein, or Teresa Dunn, are any of them excused? Did any of them tell no. them they weren't coming? I don't know anything about that. No. Okay. Like Teresa Dunn, we're having a bit of a problem with. Yeah. We haven't been able to contact. She hasn't been for several months, and we haven't been able to contact her. Oh, we have no idea where really? she is. Anybody go to the house? 
her a friend of hers went to the house, but she's living with her son, son her son. Um, and then she has office. another son in the eastern part of the state, so we've left messages. Mm. Um, you know, I don't know what happened. Yeah. She's no longer at Rockledge or anything? No. No, that's been a long time okay. ago. Yeah. So anyway, we'll. If anyone hears, let us know because her friend was really, um, uh, you know, wondering where she was too. And we can take up maybe next month the possibility that we'll drop her from the board if she hasn't been here that long. Mm -hmm. But she may be out with a medical condition, which would be an excuse. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to find out what's right. going on before we do any steps. Yeah. And also, uh, Linda has some additional person she wants to put on the board. Um, I, I, I received an application from the mayor, so mm -hmm. um, I yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll that. be interviewing that person. Or, uh, and we have room because we have only 13 people on the board. We have 15 slots. so. Oh, there's 14 now. Okay, so then we got one more that's in. But maybe Teresa will be removed. But we'd like to find out something, clarify that first before we do anything drastic. Uh, now we go to the update on Mary's Beach Okay. She's the bistro person. Oh, she's the bistro person. It's going better than I would have expected at this point, actually. I was going to be happy in the first month or two if we were getting 15 to 20 people, but we're getting 30s and 40s every time. Um, even the snowy day on Tuesday, we had 28 people come in for lunch. So um, they've already switched out some of the kitchen guys. That's going to be one of the challenges is that people are going to move on, and that's what we want from them. But they have new guys coming down. Everyone's working really well together. They're helping to plan the menus, and they have different suggestions, and they're troubleshooting. You know, there was one day we served sausage grinders, and the sausage was a little cold. So just those little things, the little bumps that come up, they're solving. Um, for the holidays, because we have time off right before Christmas, and then our New Year's, we're going to do brunch the day after Christmas, and brunch the day after New Year's. So we have menus planned out pretty far ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going pretty well. And we're right on the bubble. The last time I checked in with Rose, we're right on the bubble of actually making money. Like having Very the panini nice. maker paid off, having all of our startup expenses paid off. So financially, I mean, we're lucky because we're not paying for the labor, so I can't be too excited about that. So it's a good thing it's a profit, thing profit. for us as long as we're not running in the red. Um, and I'm seeing people who I don't normally see sort of socializing with each other or sitting in there and having lunch. Um, I actually called someone today. I had two volunteers come out sick because that cold is going around. I called someone to come in. She said, oh, I'm really sorry, but I'm coming for lunch with a friend. <laughs> and I said, okay, like it makes me happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. so it's good. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say, you know, having them bake things and having some leftovers, it's really nice to have. People act like the chocolate chip cookies at the coffee shop. It's like, and, you know, they're delicious. And I think it's homemade, you know? So yeah. I think people appreciate that. So do you include that, the money that you, you know, that kind of stuff mm -hmm. that no, comes over? No, that just goes into the coffee shop. Okay. So. Yeah. It'd be hard to trace. Yeah. One yeah, other thing, uh, uh, the taken up in the elder vision meeting today and uh, made a suggestion or actually one of our board members made a suggestion they have having french fries the last couple of days and they're cooking the french fries in a, a saute pan because they don't have a fry later of any kind and it can't today they had to wait people had to wait to get their fries because they had to cook them on small batches so elder vision is going to be looking into in our board meeting looking into picking and buying them a fry later you really have to be careful with that yes I I just have the systems yeah. That the fire department has to Well, we in. have to have the fire department yeah. in the city yeah. come over here and see where we can put it on that ventilation system. And you can check insurance, check the insurance oh. policy. It's a whole yeah. different ballgame yeah. than fire system. Don't oh. serve French fries. Yeah, yeah. it's a whole other ballgame <laughs> before the fire. We, we are going through this with my parish and our in our church hall. We're doing that kitchen. I've had the building inspector, oh, yeah. the fire department. I had every <laughs> person you can imagine in. It's a big can of worms. It's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, the, fire, the fire suppression <laughs> system alone is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You will probably have to change your duct work in, in, the, in the ventilation because that's not powerful enough. Okay. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a big can of worms. I don't know if it's worth it. It's, yeah. it's really probably uh, I will tell you, I, I will tell you, 
and the schools, and if I was doing it myself for you people, which I'm not, you can do them in the oven. Yeah, right. Before oh, the French fries and bacon. That's, a lot of ways yeah. to that's what we do in the school all the time. Yeah, yeah you're not going to have the greasy homemade, mm -hmm. you know, French fries that all of us seem to enjoy. But um, you can make French fries in the oven right. on, a, on a baking sheet, and yeah. I, by I mean, far. You don't have to go through the expense of what you're looking at. I thought, I thought there was a problem with the ventilation system. I didn't realize the rest of it. Oh, no, it's fire suppression. It's a whole mm -hmm. other level. You have fire suppression yeah. in there, but not, it may not, not be that. No, you need the ones that have yeah. the big sprayers. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's amazing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we bring things up, because we yeah. get expertise yeah. from a lot of different no, people who have been there. Okay. The, um, the other thing yeah. regarding what Kathy just said about, you know, we. Um, we we had a person. We have a person who comes into the the uh, coffee shop, and he wrote a check to say, "I want to see cakes and pies in here," you know. And so, what I've been doing is in the morning I go to stop a job, pick up a case, cakes and pies because our benefactor will write us a check. Wow. So, um, so Heather mm -hmm. suggested that you know maybe we could start you know expanding the bakery commitment by by our um oh, all our no, I, I, we have a volunteer who oh. had a bakery in new york for a number of years mm -hmm. oh right so if i can get a group of people together it will actually be in the chronicle this month people interested in coming in once or twice a week to put together some doughs mm -hmm. and that kind of That'd thing great. And just to learn she she yeah. is an instructor she's been yes. teaching for years she's i would excellent. come just to learn how to do it yeah. <laughs> I mean, she is, i've had some of her stuff it is uh, her name is linda over the top no. everyone here is not linda. another linda, <laughs> <laughs> another linda please. but if she Playing had like three or four people, people who were interested on a weekly basis yeah. we could definitely yeah. have wow. um, fresh made stuff in the coffee shop we use the days when the uh yeah, yeah. It's it's better than buying yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, people are yeah. really are, are using the yeah. coffee shop a lot i mean and it's it's, it's a real focal point building. when yeah, the guys are here really cooking important. everyone oh, yeah. walks around and wants to know what they're oh, making so. she made those mocha whoopie, whoopie pies, pies. Yeah. And mm. I had one and went back to get another dozen, and, and they were gone. all 20 of them were gone. Yeah. They were like <laughs> unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. Where were they? They were on the, at the craft at the fair. fair, out there for sale in the boom, and they were like, by the end of the mini market. The, but the there's, there's also, I think, there comes an apartment when you're buying things, you know, because a lot of stuff, if especially with big goods, they go they go stale pretty fast. So mm -hmm. you really have to kind of, it, yeah. you know. And it's yep. got all the bad stuff. We don't really oh, need God. that. Right. Yeah. We, we can control yeah. that. How yeah. that how yeah. We can, you can cook yeah. with better stuff. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Real that was a great suggestion. And we're Any other going questions to get better. Or, uh, <laughs> uh, I think it would be nice <laughs> if we would send a note to the jail yes. complimenting mm -hmm. them and telling them that they you know what a super job they're doing and we appreciate it. Great. Maybe a holiday card or something like that. That's appreciate a great it. idea. Yeah, no, I think great job. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Do you know your father's address? <laughs> <laughs> um, does someone want to take charge and put together a card for everyone to sign? Uh, uh, they you brought good. it up. You do the card. It's hard. To get. Yeah, it's actually going to be hard to get. Well, unless well, like, why are we just looking at the card now? Do you have something? Or the card? I'm sure we can find a nice card right now. Yeah, just a card. Yeah. We're we're going to have a little get to. Uh, we're going to have a little Christmas party from us to you, um, and and a little bit of Elder Vision's money to make it happen. And holiday. And holiday. Come on, my friend. Yes. Holiday. Yes. I'm the only Jewish girl. I'm sorry. Okay. But you all know it's holiday. No. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you. Um, and so this will. So when we have it all set up in about ten minutes after we finish this, um, I'll set. I'll send out a, a Christmas card for uh, Hanukkah. A holiday. Holiday. Card. Oh my God. What about the Buddhists? Yes. Right? I'm really Kwanzaa. good about that until I have someone sitting next to me who is celebrating Hanukkah, and then I just have destroyed it. I celebrate it. it all. Thank you. So do I. Yeah. Um, so we'll we'll pass it around at our little party. Okay. All right. Thank okay, you. Yeah. Party. Moving on to Elder Vision. What are we doing with Elder Vision? We're, we're, we're good. 
Now are we done yet for the party? Um, the, the, we're, um, we put new monitors up in our um, computer training room um, because the, 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 they, we had a few big ones but a lot of little ones. People weren't using the little ones because, I mean, it's a senior center and we have to be, com and, uh, you know, just aware of the fact that we do need bigger monitors. And many of us so um, anyway so um, I just discussed this with Bob and um, Elder Vision if, if Elder Vision board approves that they will be paid for our monitors it won't be coming out of our funds so you can it looks nice okay Northampton neighbors how's that doing um, it's 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 good. Okay, next we have we now have we now have three hundred members. Um, but what I'm finding is this is getting a little frustrating though. Is you know um, like what, this is an example. Um, um, someone called to go for a medical appointment. Um, we had no volunteers. Jan called Adele from Northampton Neighbors. They got a Northampton neighbor to bring that person to the the um, the medical appointment. That's how this is supposed to work. Okay. And I've been trying to reach Highland Valley, and they haven't been coming back to me because I okay. want we want want this to be well. The board wants it to be a, a gap filler. You know, mm -hmm. so that people can maintain their dignity and stay home as long as they mm -hmm. want. Um, and they haven't been, and the visiting nurse did not get back to me either. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe Could it's the time of the year or something. But um, you cannot, you and I might talk okay, about it. Okay, yeah, no, we can, we can talk about it. Because what they is have, the problem? I didn't understand what the frustration was or what the problem was. They're not calling me back Who? when Highland, Highland Valley, Valley, because we are ready. We oh. have 50 trained volunteers. And we have 10 people we're present. And, and the so. point is for them to be aware of this as an asset and a yes. um, resource. Yes. I mean, that is the business they're in. I mean, they're in the business of taking care of people right. in their home. That's right. Helen Valley's right. main right. function. Right. So who's the contact? I know you're on top of it. I mean, I mean, who's the point person there who needs to be more aware well, of your the executive director? Is I don't the, know. I mean, and they talk to Valerie. Al, pardon? The I'm director, you were saying? No. But Kathy, you and I will talk yeah, about that. Yeah, we can about that. Yeah, well, I just like to understand that. Who would VNA? VNA would probably be Priscilla Ross or something I'll like that. Oh, Priscilla with the VNA. Yeah, that's right. who. So I'll mean, talk to Priscilla. <coughs> would you? Yeah. Okay. Because I did leave a message with, with Priscilla, and I know Priscilla. Yeah, I work at Cool. Yeah. And our kids are best friends. So I'm oh, oh, nice. Oh, oh really? Yeah. 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 We use that little networking. Yeah. 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 yeah, we just really, just we, we, we've got 300 people and we'll yeah. probably have 100 volunteers in the next couple of months. And these people do everything. They'll do a handy pe handy work and they'll do um, transportation. And you know, they're, it's, it's, it should work. Mm -hmm. And if, but it, it's not where it should be unless all of the providers are also aware of mm -hmm. it and mm -hmm. we can help out. So, but it's a good, it's happening. Great. Any other questions on the neighbors? Okay, moving on to the holiday craft fair. It went well. <laughs> I have a, one person did break their leg, but we won't talk about <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she fell over her husband. She fell over her husband. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, she slipped over her husband. Yeah, she's still recuperating on her daughters, but we're oh, keeping okay. track of her. Oh. I know. Was, oh, no. She was one of the provider so oh, wow. um, um, we, we realized the profit uh, Linda approximately what three um, three thousand wow the, yeah the income was three thousand just about three thousand the only uh, the only expenses I had were eighty eight dollars and something cents no wait a minute I'm sorry two hundred ninety five dollars and forty six cents so, so it was basically you made for the craft uh, fair quite a bit yeah, so yeah like twenty six Twenty-six hundred almost. Yeah. And Cedar Chest, I was so amazed with their generosity. You know, yes. and, the, and there was yeah. less this year than last yeah. year. So yeah. every year they. Right. Yeah. And people love things. Things. Yeah, I do. I mean, how many people? How many times can you sell a brand new scarf that Cedar Chest sold for two dollars right. and fifty cents? Yeah. You know, pretty cool. Yeah. They're wonderful. Okay, moving on to the holiday dinner. I think you already covered.
Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. 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 And just a quick thank you to everybody who volunteered. It went really smooth. So. Thank you. And the band is great. I just, I'm so proud of them. I've known people. Wow. Yeah. I've got kids. them hired for six, six events. Oh, <laughs> And I'm sorry. They were good. I was called to yeah. the with my own aging yeah. family yeah. members. So. Okay. so I'm sorry I couldn't do that. Well, if we can get a ticket fast, you might not have been able to go. Yeah, away. We sold them all out. Very no, she had, I had signed up to volunteer, oh, oh, which I would, I would have enjoyed doing. And I saw the Facebook picture <laughs> of it. Was it Facebook? Or yeah. Okay. That it was nice. Yeah. Well, like I said, we've got a good crew of volunteers, good crew in the kitchen. They plated them fast. We delivered them fast. We got the, we got the table yeah, clean right. and fast. Yeah. It all went very smoothly. It's a, it's a group that's worked together. We have one, I think, one person that hadn't been there before. A couple new, or a couple new they ones. were great, and now they're going to do some more events. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we had a couple of friends out before. They still are in. You were too good. We drafted too hard. We drafted too hard. It's on here. It's on my way. Okay, well, we're working on the winter market. The hours at the winter market. Pardon? The hours at the winter market. Nine to two. Nine to two. Nine to two. I know it goes to two. None of us know. I know it goes to two because I was here. I didn't learn here in the morning, so okay. it's 9 to 2. Is it 9 to 2? Is that yeah, it? I put that on the sign. Okay, thanks. 9 yeah. to 2. I was surprised. I came in the first week or second week, and it was packed. Oh, yeah. I mean, there it was, was popular. a ton of people. It was packed when it was at home. It was always packed. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got here on Saturday at noon to take over the uh, building monitor shift, and it was busy all afternoon, oh, yeah. and that's when the snow and everything else was starting, and I'm sure it was packed in the morning. It was. It was. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, and I talked to the uh, yeah, woman who was in charge of it, and she said it's doing very well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The farmers okay. are all very happy with the mm -hmm. results, Great. the sales. So, mm -hmm. and they cleaned up, we're out of here in 25, 30 minutes. So, are they renting yes. the room? Yeah, they renting the room. Per hour? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. There's a real problem with the fact that they're not cleaning the floor. They, uh, well, I, I did the floor cleaning. The problem with the cleaning the floor, and that was came up, was in that corner. And that corner was dirty because they used that back door to load the truck on the, on the con street and truck the snow in and out and the ice. And I didn't have but a mop to mop up with. I had a dry mop. Well, I, I don't mean this as a criticism of the situation, except that it seems to me that if we're going to have something like a winter market in that space, it should be professionally cleaned by the market people when they're done and it should be routinely part of what what they do because I was appalled at the at what the floor looked like when we were serving food there the same day the floor no, the looked like day. afterwards and then no, on I mean, Saturday we, were, we had the dinner on Sunday yeah. and when they were done when they were done I dry mopped the whole thing and, and I got all the debris off it but there were marks on the floor obviously there was that one scraps corner. of food I, I saw on the floor. Not they, must big been, they must have been dropped for the holiday dinner then because there was no scraps of food when I left. I mean, I, I drive up the entire room. Yeah. Oh, they may have but, been. I you know, there, there's there. something I could say here is that, because um, I always say something anyway. So, <laughs> anyway, um, the, uh, we're, we've been really lucky and. Um, um, let's see, uh, Carmen has introduced um, a friend of hers who is applying to be a senior aide to work here um, 20 hours a week and he's going to be helping Bob so and in in that janitorial capacity um, basically Bob you know has been here for a long time and he's doing you know he's doing as much as he can possibly do in the hours that he's doing and everyone loves him Mostly everybody loves them, but anyway. Um, That's not to love. Yeah, I know exactly. So Eduardo will be. Um, oh, Eduardo. We're just waiting for approval, and he's going to be doing helping Bob out, and Bob is thrilled. He's interviewed him, and it's going to be a good fit. Mm, good. So, because right. uh, you know, I have to say, that it, it's not necessarily just one event that makes the this. It's like we use this 
great room almost every single day um, for a couple you know, of events at for a time, couple like, yeah, of yeah, events yeah. and Bob can't keep up with it and that's why hopefully with a, another 20 hour per a week person um, this won't be an issue well and again you know if you're renting it out a lot then now that will be have to pay for the existing you know it'll be win-win then you know yeah you to, yeah and, and that's not a bad idea if we find that with our additional um, maintenance mm -hmm. help, if we can't keep ahead, then that might be part of the, the rental agreement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we, uh, this was literally the, the second. It's not, part, it's not part of the, you have a signed agreement, right? Then, yeah. So it's not part mm -hmm. of the signed agreement. So. No, there's not. not I mean, what, that they will clean up? No, they, they do clean up. They well, they clean up. But it's not part of the signed agreement. It's part of the signed agreement. Well, it's part of the signed I agreement. think it is part of the signed agreement. But as far as, you know, washing the floors and stuff, no, I think, I it's, think it's just sweet. You know, it's, it's, but it's going to take more than two times to get mm -hmm. a sense of, you know, how we yeah. can balance all our needs. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, moving on to the Wendy's Conference, mm -hmm. Jim. Made about 15 calls in the last month since we've been here, and I've got, from the 15, I've got three more positive mm -hmm. maybes, okay, mm -hmm. to, to come. Good. All top names. You're going to have some pretty interesting folks here. Good. With a little luck. As long as it doesn't snow. Speaking of that. <laughs> <laughs> in May. No. What is it going to be? May. <laughs> People don't want to come up here in the cold. Chance, huh? That's the first thing somebody asked me. When are you doing it? Like, <laughs> we're not coming in January, February. I said, no, we're waiting until May. Yeah. So. Okay, good. Uh, any questions uh, for Jim? Oh, we did. We are. We did make the agreement to work and share the responsibility with the Elks, us, and the Pioneer Valley Writers College. Mm -hmm. is between the three of us we're going to put it all together. The okay. Pioneer Valley Writers College. I haven't mm -hmm. I never Where are they that. out of? Pardon? Where are they out of this Pioneer Valley Writers College? Pioneer Valley? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 are they like part of different writing um, groups together? No, it's, I, I think their office is in the old Williamsburg School Building oh, on the oh, second oh, floor. Is it college or conference? Pardon? Is it Pioneer Valley Writers Conference or College? Yeah. It's Pioneer Valley Writers College. And it's in Williamsburg. <coughs> yeah, I think that's where it is. He's not sure where they are. But um, Joy Bagelow is the one who's in charge of it. She's the director. That B A G I L I O. Baglio. Baglio? Baglio. You don't pronounce it, G. Baglio. Yeah. Thank you. Nice lady. Okay, anything else on that? Well, let's move on to the holiday baskets. Um, Michelle's going to tell uh, briefly, and I just sent her up. She's been peeking in, and this is her moment, and she's not here yet. So um, Carmen went to pick her up. Oh, okay. Um, okay Highland Valley Elder Food Court. Well, basically, I mean, there's so much going on with Highland Valley, you know. There, um, there's just a lot of activity, and um, they're doing okay financially, fiscally. Alan's really working at things and they're all sort of caught up with there was issues around some of the paperwork but they've kind of caught up with that so <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it's busy i mean it, it's incredibly busy i mean as, as board members you also have to be on committees and stuff so it's not just go and listen it's a whole different board than it used to be yeah which is good what are, can I ask, what are some of the committees that um personnel committee there's a nutrition committee there's now we're trying to do a marketing committee there's also um I think there's some of the other, oh the title three grants committee we do grants there's the um uh, money management committee on that one um there's a few other ones i just can't think of them oh fiscal the financial committee um I I was just curious, I knew at one point it had come up at another meeting mm -hmm. about um, whether it was possible to have two people from here work with them in case there was a time when you weren't going to be able to be there. 
so well, maybe we, I, I don't know if well, Ken ever got resolved, but we can talk about it after. Yeah, yeah, let's here. Just chat yeah. A little, yeah. yeah, because I, I think that's something in terms of, I have to kind of find out, I'm, I'm now actually part of the executive committee. <laughs> Good for you. Congratulations. Put you upset. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll, we'll talk. You know, there's issues in terms of the meeting. Got board. appointed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, but you know, there's, so there's there's issues in terms of board makeup and you yep. know this whole. I mean, it, it's a whole different. You know, it's not just COA members mm -hmm. on yep. the committee. They're yeah. kind of branching out and getting other people with uh. different kinds of skill sets. You know, to kind of fill the needs of what you that's know. good because some of the members when we, when Jim and I were there would just kind of wander down to the hills and sat there and had well, that's it. Stack. I mean, I think there were a lot. I mean, that's the reality. I mean, maybe before that's the way it yeah. was, but now it's like it's a very professional organization yeah. and we run very professionally. That and um, you know, it's, just, it's amazing. You know, the stuff that they mm -hmm. you know, we're talking Can about. Can I connect with you after? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Michelle. Hello. Something. Hi, I think everyone knows me. Michelle Dillon, yeah. social worker, and every, anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Ball, <laughs> so, um, Linda wanted me to come in and um, show you the bags that um, we're doing. Um, we're doing um, gift bags for um, 36 people. Um, there is not a qualification really, except that the person is a senior, 60 and older, and is um, most likely not going to have any family in a holiday mm -hmm. or people around. So I wanted to do something, mm -hmm. you know, just a nice gesture, really. Mm -hmm. um, so we got um, donations from Salvation Army, um, Deals and Steals. Oh. Our chefs made some um, chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and um, we're, we're putting them in with our bags mm -hmm. so we can advertise. Um, I'm putting a handwritten um, holiday card in with some information um, from, you know, where the gifts mm -hmm. came from, that sort of thing mm -hmm. here. We can pass these around and about our transportation, just a few things for the senior center. So we can pass that around. And I brought two, we have a bag for, we're doing 18 women and 18 men. Um, <laughs> Mm. And we will be delivering them Monday. I have a volunteer, um, Karen Hollywood, has helped me the other day. We put them all together. And we're going to have the van driver, one of the van drivers, bring us around on Monday. And we're going to hand deliver them. Mm. If it wasn't so cold, I would have dressed up. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it makes it a little easier having someone Someone to remind us. Yeah. So Maybe I'm Easter. getting the. Um, it's an indoor costume. Yeah. The, the list something? together. So. We'll just see if they're going to be. Home. Yes. Yes. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're getting called yeah. today, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. If they're not home, well, we're just going to leave them. Leave it at the door. Leave it at the door. And they'll be so surprised. Yeah. So each bag has. I'm going to. We can pass it around if you want, or I can just leave it out. You can look at it later. Okay. So yeah. passing it around might be a little too much. But we can, um, just for the men's, everyone gets a puzzle. This came from Steals and Steals. Um, the Salvation Army gave packs for um, men and women. This happens to be the men's. And it has um, a flashlight, oh, um, some toiletries, toiletries yeah. yes. yeah. body wash, that sort of thing. Oh, a little yeah. tool, heat tool, which is pretty cool. It's a lot bigger than it looks in here. And, um, some little axe. So um, we have that. We have some socks in here. Um, we have some lavender spray. <laughs> We're going to have some cookies, um, which we, we um, pre made. The, the guys made for us the other day. And then the women's is similar, except it has the women's gift bag with some perfume and other little toiletries okay. and socks and, uh, and, mm -hmm. and they're just little Army. things. Salvation Army nice. at the store. Salvation Army, um, the, the court the court unit um, from um, this area, Hampshire County. We were, I work with them. We give out vouchers for them. Mm -hmm. So they have a catalog that you can order from. So I ordered and it was and it's free. We didn't have to pay for any of it. Um, so they, I ordered um, 18 for the men, 18 for the women, and they, um, they donate them. It's part of what they do. Mm -hmm. So they have a whole catalog of things you can choose. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah, so I will leave them over there, and the women's is pretty much exactly the same, except with the women's. Yeah. And then we'll add some cookies, and it's going to have some tissue paper on Oh, nice. I was going to wrap them all, but I thought that would be too Kathy? Yeah. <laughs> um, and, the, and the people there, from, from your work here, you know the people and stuff like yes, that? Yes, I, I have um, chosen some it. of the people that I know, and I right. also reached out to some community partners. Wonderful. The housing, Good. Good. Um, Lynn at the Housing Authority, Excellent. she is the um, resident coordinator um, that started last year. Uh -huh. She's given me some names. Good. Staff has given me some names. So. It's you know it's a group it's been a group effort. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And I'll leave them over there. You want to, anyone wants to take a look at them? Okay. Thank so, you for doing those. Oh, no, I'm going to go that way. Yeah. Thank you for having the idea to do this. Thank you. And she'll, if you have questions, she'll be back at two thirty with everybody where we can kind of socialize. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I have a couple of things that were still with other business that I didn't put on the agenda. Okay, no problem. Um, this, um, okay, uh, these are things that were we talked about at the last meeting. I just want to give you an update. We're going to have a, you know, please be sensitive of, of sensory if you can. Um, and we'll be putting up a sign next week. We're just too inundated with signs right now. So that'll be a January thing. Um, and we'll, and, Heather and I, which she doesn't know yet, will be working on the dog thing um, where we okay. have everybody knows what to say mm -hmm. so that we don't step over the, the disability mm -hmm. guidelines. <coughs> Um, staff training, so that will also have, happen in January. Um, but, uh, so it might be helpful for volunteers to, to know. No, yeah, she, we'll we'll be talking about how we'll mm -hmm. notify yeah. the volunteers. Right now, we've been just recommending that the volunteers get a staff member because it's such a okay. touchy yeah. issue. Oh, I, I know. Don't it's expect them to have to deal with that. Yeah. I don't even like really dealing. With I know. I mean, I agree. Speaking of dogs, at the uh, how um, credit. Yes. They had this woman. She has her little dog. He's on a leash, but he's free to walk yeah, all over. It's not dog. Jolly took the dog out to. The dog just made it out the door. I mean, this dog traveled all over the place. Right. So I think I talked to her at least ten times. It's the next one ever. The one who's registered at City Hall. No, She's no, not that. There's another one. No. No. Another one. There is another one. one. Yeah. I mean, I, I um, and then, and then uh, not only me, but other people uh, asked really mm -hmm. said, and so she, she would do her thing. She put it down and everything like that. And I, I did ask the right questions about um, mm -hmm. the disability things. Mm -hmm. And anyway, but um, I don't know whether then I would personally tie the dog up itself <laughs> because she don't bring the dog in. Did no. You, did you get to ask her to leave or just? I, I, it was that tricky that. You know, and and she said, "Oh my goodness!" And she would do it, and then the next thing, your back She'd would forget. be turned. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, the, she won't be welcome next year. That's all. I well, she's she not with the dog. She was a vendor. She was a vendor. The thing is, I don't think she sold it. That's her choice. These people, these people are very stubborn when it comes to their dogs. I will put. I will put it down. So anyway, yeah. I mean, it's, we. I was very. It wasn't only me either yeah. telling her. And anyway, yeah. That you was also. Rude. It was very rude. I was. Yeah. And I don't really. Lose, I don't you. get angry yeah. easily. And I was angry by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. said, you know, this this can't happen again. You know, you, you know, please don't think yeah. about coming back. I'm so. Sorry that yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. like my therapy per and it was only the, I mean, you know, I. Well, I, there, you know, I think the other thing is that there are different, different uh, requirements is emotional support animals. There are, are uh, um, you know, um, service dogs, and then I think there, there's, 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 there's no such thing as emotional support service. Well, there isn't officially. Right. We're going to go by the ADA. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I, agree. Yeah. I agree, but I think because you'll hear things, and I think because oh, yeah. it's such a hot emotional issue, yeah. you need to be prepared on what to say. Then. Absolutely. And, and I think that that's the, the whole yeah. point of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. we're dealing with the public. This is going to keep coming up. Yeah. Oh, my God. And they're always going to keep coming and up. Then so and you know, the other thing. Appropriately, if yeah. they are going to, yeah. if it right. is allowed, right, then they need to know how to yeah. well, be appropriate. It was a very social dog. I mean, you know, no barking or anything else. But a true service dog is a social. 
They sit well, right next to you. And that's how you can tell it's not well, 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 The little lady who brings their dog here, the dog growls at me every time it sees me. I can't understand that. that's the way it's supposed to be. Maybe because I spit at it. Security dog. I know it's nice to do it too. So, the other, another issue, um, Jim got us a new flag. If anyone noticed, thank you so much. Um, it, it was really, really bad, the last one. I felt really, you know, a few people, at least once a month, someone would complain about it. So I, I asked um, the, the, our veterans service person, but Jim, it took us, it took him two days to get it. So you have to have that influence, influential people. Thank you so much. Um, Marley, do you have any report on, on the LGBT? They have extended, yeah, they've extended oh. January. So it's can we put you on to today. give us an update of that? Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, they've started. State, yeah. It's state level, so God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 State that's time. Yeah. Yeah. They told me January, and they didn't tell me what year. So yeah. 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 I've waited. It sounds really good. I would love to hear it. She's on the state um, L LGBT elders of Western Massachusetts mm -hmm. board. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So it's a state know. board yep. representing Western Mass. Oh wow, very, good. very cool. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. um, um, I'm still. I'm waiting for approval from the World War II Club to get a, um, a sign for alternate parking because you know it's one thing to ask them to let like let us park during the ho holiday fairs, but every now and then we just need to you know just know that there's that backup. Yeah, and, and so uh, in a much uh, unofficial way. So um, and. Um, there's oh yeah I want to recognize Kathy Service um, if you if all of you don't know she I I'm sorry I am so psyched when I she had um, a publication um, a publication in the New Zealand Dementia oh, Australia wow how nice is that and she's the one that's going to be um, representing us with the dementia friendly yeah yeah we're very very lucky well, thank you I mean I looked out because it first appeared in the journal in the UK and it, that's a sister. Journal and they picked it up in, in Australia. So, and uh, because it's the group that I was with, it's a lot of people from. from How do we get to read it? Can what's the publication we should Google? Dem uh, dementia care. That's it. New Zealand. Uh, well, it's Australia. Um, Australia. Oh, Is it written in Australia? Yeah, it's the main list. Like it's it's big. Yeah, you bring it in again, and I'm trying to get it better. Yeah, to, to get it's uh, you know it's like that off size, so it's. Oh yeah, yeah. I I actually had um, uh, colored copies do it. To shrink it down for me because I didn't know how to do it. On, you know, because so it's a, you know the I'll UK their size yeah. paper, the normal size paper is like eight five whatever it's a different size paper so I've actually got it shrunk down yeah mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'd love to is that going to be in the chronicle maybe with a, maybe with a link oh, oh what a good idea so people can yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just an article on it and a link mm -hmm. yeah. yeah well you know the thing about this article it's an end of life but it really deals specifically with people with intellectual disabilities however you know, there are a lot of the same kinds of issues, you know, working with people to support people through end of life who have a dementing disease. So right. I think yeah. you can kind of look at, at that from both ways. And some of us start earlier than I can. Yes. Okay. Yes, me, especially early in the morning. Can I go back to, is that all done? No, one oh, more. Okay. One more thing. Thank you. Um, Deborah asked me to present this last month, and I didn't, it was kind of, there was a lot going on. Mm -hmm. but. Um, she would like she's requested that some, if, if and any other board members if you would like a business card if you represent us in any capacity outside of um, the senior center and you'd like a business card as a board member of the senior center um, please let us know and uh, we can get some uh, business cards Deborah attended um, uh, health fair at UMass and um, I asked her to see about some of the presenters if they would like to come um, to our health fair. And um, so she thought it would be more, it would be a little bit more like professional, yeah, professional, professional yeah. to yeah. have a business card. So if anyone wants mm -hmm. to have a business card as a board member, um, you know, just let us, let us know, we'll make it happen. 
Yeah. Okay. I know I was on an advisory board for a small press, and rather than having a name say there's an advisory board or a board member, so it could oh, be a universal a card idea. that anybody, if they're going oh, somewhere, they can good. just take that's it. And, have and then we could always hand write our yeah. name. Sure. Right. And yeah. that way, when his board members leave, you come in with the Yeah, you don't have that's to. True. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. That's true. Right. That's good. Idea. It's more generic. We're going to ideas everywhere. Jim, yep. you got something. I want to go back to the sign with the World War II club. Um, what actually do we need or do we want to have done? All we want to do is say there, you know, on the in the front somewhere there is alternate parking. Uh, in the front the here or in the front there? Right there, I think. Front, the front of our business. Oh, right. So you're just talking about a foldy sign, like there uh, no, the thing I'm we can. Of just a, a just a sign on the on the window. Oh, a sandwich sign. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Sign. A sandwich sign. Yeah. When you a have sandwich when you, sign in the parking lot right. so people can see yeah. all to the parking lot. When you have an event, you take the sandwich out. sign right. out and put it out, out there. The yeah. Another yeah. brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sandwich sign has to go out the yeah. Yeah. That's one. Well, whenever we need it, you go out. Yeah. 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 Are we okay? You got an idea? No, no. I, oh. I, I, they're probably going to have to go through their board also. Yeah. So. Yeah. Or even one of those, but you, you can't, yeah. you need to have you that. You need person. something that, that you can right. actually it, put it, in the block, be in the park block the, the park. half the road, yeah. so they have to go around it. So yeah, yeah, you, you don't want it in the door by the time they no, get to the door. No, that's a great idea. As they enter yeah. yeah. our parking lot, yeah. of course, we've got somebody standing there, right. and they can also point it out and say, you know, and the same as that. Yeah, around the back, it's full. But there's some of it. It'll make life a little easier with if we if everybody gets to know that we have alternate parking. Right. So. John? There's some events during the week that we mm -hmm. don't have somebody out there that the That's sign out there. Well, even now, yeah. I mean, yes. you used to really. I mean, <laughs> it's always packed. Every day. And maybe you want to mention the parking along the Salva House mm -hmm. yeah. as well as yeah. the right. World War II yeah. Club. The tenant parking over there, yeah. I mean, the That's visitor the parking we can use. We have the Right. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, moving on to, before we get to our time here, moving on to new business. We have an introduction mm -hmm. to it. Yes. Um, Carmen, stand up there, please. Um, Carmen is our newest staff member, and um, she is going to be, she's working 10 hours a week for us, and she does outreach to the Latino community. And would you like to say a few things? Well, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's why you're here. Nice to meet you. Um, I, I know some of you. Kathy is <laughs> my favorite. I've been my boss. Uh, oh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no, no. Um, I, I am very excited about the opportunity that I've been given to try to outreach to the Latino elders, you know, because I know that a lot of them feel bored at home and um, they could take advantage of a lot of the programs offered, mm -hmm. but they, um, it's part of our culture and we, we are shy, we are shy, I'm not, but they are. <laughs> but, um, and, and, and for them to bring their eyes into um, mostly kind of white, mm -hmm. you know, group right. and stuff like that, they feel kind of intimidated at the mm -hmm. beginning, and they have had um, a little bit of few bad experiences in the past. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to make it like sound more friendly, and I'm trying to bring them myself. And I'm trying to, you know, sell them the truth that this is really a friendly environment that mm -hmm. people here are looking forward to have them. Mm -hmm. and, and I hope that after the holidays, I see more faces here because I know holidays mm -hmm. for our culture and having these facing this thing mm. in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. It's been really hard for a lot yeah. of people. Oh, they're right. depressed, they're trying to help the people there. Mm -hmm. They have to bring families here. So they've been busy, but um, I have faith that this is gonna work. And you know, I'm hoping that we can see more Latin faces oh. here. And you can also work with volunteers that we have on the desk <coughs> and encourage them to be more aware. Right. Of problems that come Food. Up. Right. And yeah. also, I am um, working a little bit with um, the company also in terms of letting them know about the volunteers that they offer and even asking them if they want to go. Yeah. Oh, so, so I don't have a lot of time, but I try to use it on the phone or when I see somebody at the supermarket, whatever. Yeah. Kathy wants to say something. Maybe, well, maybe we can have a, a Latino 
meal at the that's, bistro for one day. Yep, we that, that, you know, we, we great we minds think alike. We're like, talking about, yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 About that. I mean, yeah. I'm sure that if we plan it yeah. and have yeah. time, Tuesday. we can have somebody who likes to cook and is really good cook or something yeah, come here. And have them have, have teachers. Make rice or make something for the home. Yeah. 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 So they would enjoy being part of that. I think so. And they would enjoy knowing that the people, the, our people here, would like to enjoy their food. That we're yeah. interested. That's yeah. one of the yeah. most things that make us mm -hmm. proud. Yeah. Is that people like rice and beans and chicken and mm. pork and flan. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, right. Supporting oh. the the senior center, and then also uh, <coughs> um, having a nice little translation mm -hmm. in, in, um, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're really excited. We're we hope to work with the um, Northampton uh, Housing Authority too. Maybe we're having a column. Yeah, that's what I think. I haven't been are able they, to. They're in flux. They, they are. are. Yeah, I, I hear. Yeah. Well, kind of because they have a big transition going on, so. Things have changed a little yeah. bit, and I think they need to be settled mm -hmm. before we can. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. But as long as they know you're here. Yeah. That's I was, all they need to know. I was one think. of the interpreters. Yeah. I am a medical interpreter. Too. Oh, you're medical. That's yeah. good to know. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. she's. <laughs> Maybe even having a column in Spanish in, in Elder Vision or something. Not a lot. I mean, just something that people, if they see something like that, they feel a lot more welcome. I know the, you get the Montague Reporter, and they have a page after every time they're all in right. Spanish. Right. That's great. Or one Latino can't do Limited space. I know, well, limited space. A lot of people feel like that. Before, so I think it's going to take time, or maybe if I do yeah. It's the direction of the China. And they have to do it. And she's, um, you know. And I Carmen is translating all there. of our forms yeah. and everything into Spanish. Oh, I agree so with well. you. I we'll agree with you with the good thing, but the good thing would turn into a bad thing in about a minute and a quarter. Anyway, one last thing. I just want this is a show and tell thing, and we are, we are going to party in about two minutes. So, um, but this is I, I just wanted you to see this. This was um, sent to me from EOEA a while ago. Oh, it's actually UMass Boston um, mm -hmm. put this together. But this is going to show you just how important our work is here. Um, and just over the next 20 years, Massachusetts population growth will occur almost entirely in the 60 plus age group. And that's, that's it. This is us in 20 years. So, you know, we want to get all the services. We want to make this the best we can because I, we're not going away. No. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But I, I just thought this, this kind of blew my mind. That would be Okay, one more thing. We have another little okay. okay, Linda had um, urged me to announce, I'll pass them around. Um, it, I'm the co chair of the Valley Jewish Senior Luncheon Series. It's a lunch and learn program, it's once a month on the, every third Wednesday. All faiths and ages are welcome. We, it, that's the bottom line. There's content that uh, everybody would enjoy. Um, this month there is um, a musical program and of course we're having latkes for, you know, potato latkes for um, a Hanukkah party. Mm -hmm. But next month we're having um, a woman who's a Feldenkrais practitioner and I know you have Feldenkrais mm -hmm. here also and uh, she'll be uh, helping people out. She works with people with Parkinson's also, so if you know mm -hmm. anybody with Parkinson's, mm -hmm. uh, she's had great success with them. So I'm just happy to pass this around, and everyone is welcome. Okay. And it's only $5 for, I'm in charge of the, the lunch. Oh. It, it's really good food. We had a volunteer meeting yesterday, and we planned a great menu. Where does it take so, place? They take place at Congregation B'nai Israel. 
you don't have to be Jewish, you don't have to be a member of that synagogue. <laughs> you oh, know, on Prospect he, Street, right? On Prospect mm -hmm. Street, it's um, diagonally across yeah. the street from the YMCA yeah. Yeah. for people who may not Is be familiar. Is it in the back or in the church, in the synagogue? It's in the synagogue. It, the building in the back is the school. School, I know. Yeah, so you're right, it's in the actual, in the library. Okay in there and people can you can RSVP to help give us a head count but people are welcome just to come mm -hmm. and and if you if you can't RSVP ahead of time but we usually get about 40 to 50 people Great. and and includes um, you don't have to consider yourself a senior or you don't have to be Jewish mm -hmm. it's an extension really of what happens here in a way to be hungry yeah right be hungry and, and be ready to learn something new right. Right. Can you post that somewhere? Sure. Yeah, I, I, I have done that. And I'd also, I know Victoria had said, I have to get on her schedule that it would be posted in the um, Elder Vision. But I, I somehow missed the deadline. I need to review that with you all when. It's, it's when it's, it was yesterday? Yeah. But, yep, yesterday. Yeah, but we, For the we know the editor, and if we get really nice, sometimes he has it. <laughs> I can yeah. also email if I have it on email. Yeah. Okay. 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 Email but so I the seventeenth, or it might be a That's good one. January. Yeah, it's yeah. the January newsletter. It's coming out, mm -hmm. so we could get. Well, let me. Yeah. If you could send me. Um, okay, I will send it if, to you. And also, <laughs> whatever flyers you should have, you should also make sure that people know you don't have to be Jewish. You don't have to be a certain. Well, reason. we wrote that all be on all of it. All but faith is an angel. That actually came out of the congregation's uh, newsletter. Okay. So what I did is I pulled it out of there, but yeah, as when you post does it, say yeah. there, all faces You wrote it, ages. Yeah, wrote it, but I think yeah. you're going to post things like as um, yeah. it was suggested we should make sure. And if people are interested in helping to spread the word, that okay. would be great. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anything? And I, and I hope I'll, I'll get to see you there. Anything else? Uh, <coughs> I'm hungry. hungry. No. Thank you. I knew that I invite you all to you just know. stay yeah. around. We're going to, two seconds, we're going to bring the food in, and all the staff is coming in, and we're going to celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. We're going to celebrate Christmas. We're going to celebrate everything. Okay. Now, last bit of business here. Two people. Last bit of business. Let's calm down here. Our next meeting is uh, Thursday, January 11th. Okay. Now, do we have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Second.